Between 2006 and 2008, the diocese experienced upheaval as congregations and leadership split with the Episcopal Church over questions of human sexuality. Thanks to hard work by laypeople, clergy, chancellors, and others, EDSD retained all its physical property. The Episcopal Diocese of San Diego continues to support and affirm LGBTQIA individuals' right to live, lead, worship, and marry, regardless of their sexual orientation or gender. In EDSD, love is love. End of story. In 2014, we were excited to dedicate a new diocesan office, the Episcopal Church Center in Ocean Beach. The new church center was designed to offer a unique mixture of office space for the bishop and staff, spiritual education and experimentation, and local service ministries to the community of Ocean Beach. On Monday, Thursday, volunteers came from as far away as Carlsbad and Fallbrook to serve the homeless in Ocean Beach. They helped cook and serve food, washed and cut hair, gave medical and dental exams, offered job assistance and pet care, and handed out shoes. The guests they served represented our neighbors experiencing homelessness, working families with children, and a school teacher on disability. After a hot meal and a haircut, one of the guests sat on the curb, holding a new pair of shoes, and said, I feel whole again. It's clear to me that this is when our church, the Episcopal Church, is at its finest, serving our neighbors. Around that time, EDSD began the process of seeking out a new bishop. In 2019, Bishop Susan Brown Snook was consecrated as the fifth bishop of the Episcopal Diocese of San Diego. Throughout the diocese, people celebrated their first female diocesan bishop, who was bursting with energy to share the love of Christ with the world. Eight months into her episcopate, the world sheltered in place. As COVID-19 swept the world and killed millions, remote work began, businesses closed, and people stayed home. It's a very strange Easter this year. Every other Easter I can remember has dawned with full churches and glad shouts and beautiful music and new clothes and glorious flowers. And while we do have glorious flowers today, this Easter is very different. Many of us are in isolation and many of us are deeply worried about a disease and a situation that we never expected to see in the year 2020 in America. Within weeks, dozens of churches moved to online worship, phone call trees, Zoom classes, wellness checks, digital vacation Bible school, and more. At that moment, we were vividly reminded that our church is not a building, but a caring community of believers that work to share the love of Jesus Christ with the world. In the summer of 2020, after 46-year-old George Floyd was murdered by a police officer while in custody, people took to the streets across the world. Protests against police brutality and systemic racism took center stage in the public eye. EDSD immediately began learning more about racism and its effects, with hundreds of people completing anti-racism training, sacred ground. Today, under the leadership of Bishop Susan, lay leaders May Chow and Therese Carmona have launched LARC local anti-racism knowledge, a program that helps us understand our region's history and how racism has played a significant part of EDSD's local hurts. Just over one year into the worldwide pandemic, in the spring of 2021, people migrating from Central America found themselves pressed against the U.S. and Mexican border, unable to enter the United States due to political and pandemic restrictions. We are here because we were asked by the U.S. Uh, federal government uh, to provide a temporary home for young people unaccompanied minors who are at our U.S.-Mexican border. Days before Palm Sunday, the Episcopal Diocese of San Diego was contacted by South Bay Community Services to help provide spiritual care for thousands of unaccompanied children, mostly young girls, who were to be released from U.S. Customs and Border Patrol holding and housed at the San Diego Convention Center. Teams jumped into action. Good Friday and Easter services in Spanish were designed, recorded, and produced by clergy in the diocesan office to welcome these children to our country on the holiest week of the year. These children were not going to miss Good Friday and Easter on EVSD's watch. Our diocesan team enlisted the support of Roman Catholic, ELCA Lutheran, Methodist, and Presbyterian partners and got to work providing spiritual care. I really felt like, you know, we stepped up when we needed to, and that, that's why we're here. You know, this is a part of why we're here um, as followers of Jesus. This is, this is part of the call, and when the call came, you know, so many people said, I'll go, send me. Despite the upheaval of the pandemic, 
the diocesan community continued to look to the good news of Christ at work in our lives. Dozens of individuals continued to meet virtually to plan for a region-wide revival event featuring presiding bishop Michael Curry. In December of 2022, we hosted the Good News Festival, welcoming thousands of people from throughout the region and the world to celebrate the good news of Jesus Christ in our lives together. Love your neighbor always. Love your God always. Love always. Because love made you and love will set you free. Love always. Countless God moments were shared that weekend. As we celebrate 50 years as a diocese in 2023, the work continues. The Episcopal Diocese of San Diego is actively seeking new ways of sharing Christ's love with the world including planting new churches throughout the diocese, reaching out to our diverse communities, attracting new clergy leadership, energizing campus ministries, using church real estate to provide permanent affordable housing and other mission-oriented uses in our communities, and showcasing the courageous love of the Episcopal Church in the Diocese of San Diego. These are just a few of the countless stories of the work of Jesus Christ in our little corner of creation that we call the Episcopal Diocese of San Diego. And, this is just the beginning.